to a video all about how to register for a budget hearing for New Jersey. So I am on the home page right now and you can see the uh, web address is right up here njleg.state.nj.us and they just redid the website so it might look a little different from our other videos but it's the perfect time to go over this because there are budget hearings in process right now so right on the home page you'll see immediately this icon right here that says budget FY 2023 that is actually how you register but before we do that I just want to scroll down to show you the calendar so right on the home page, they have this calendar here with the key brown or gold is legislative activity and the navy blue is budget hearing. So you'll see on the calendar that they have a budget hearing on Monday the 21st and Wednesday the 23rd. Um, it also automatically goes to the day that it is today right over here so if it was the 21st that information would be right here if it was the 23rd again that information would be right here so if we click on the 21st it's going to change this to that day that we want you'll see there's a lot going on but we have the budget hearings are right down here there's three so we have a 9 30 a.m we have a 12 30 p.m and we have a 2 30 p.m if you want to register for Monday, which is the day that we are on, you would just click on the time that you want to register for. So if we want 9.30 a.m., we can click on here, and it'll give you all of the information. So it says that the hearing will be conducted remotely without the possibility of an in-person attendance. So these hearings are virtual. For the Assembly Budget Committee, budget hearings only, it is only virtual. And then it says, um, the committee will take oral testimony by telephone and video, limited to three minutes. Super important to note. If you're interested in registering for the public hearing, please fill out the registration form located on the home page. And then it goes on to say, registrations must be received by 3 p.m. the day before the hearing. And then it says, um, you may also view the hearing through the home page as well and I'll show you where that is so if we go back home watch proceedings is where you can view it so on that Monday and on that Wednesday if you log on to this website at the time of the hearings you can click watch proceedings and live proceedings right here so right now we have a few hearings that are going on today but um, if you wanted to watch it you would just click on the link so we'll go back home and let's register. So we'll click this icon here that's only here when there are budget hearings to register for. Normally this would not be here. So we'll click that. Right up here you'll see budget public hearings online registration. We're going to click that and you've got your choices. So right now there are no Senate dates. Those will come later. You can just keep checking this website to see if the Senate hearings pop up. But right now Assembly, um, Assembly Budget Committee does have dates for you to sign up for. So either Monday or Wednesday and each day has those three times. So let's just pick Wednesday for right now just to see what it looks like. So they have instructions, guidelines, and hearing loss assistance. Even if you've testified before, um, I would check out each section because the information does change. So the instructions just help you go through, understand how the registration works. Um, a big important thing to note is that a confirmation of your registration does not mean that you are confirmed for the hearing. So it just means that they got your registration. If you do get a spot in the hearing, uh, you will get separate emails. So you want to make sure that you're checking your email regularly and also check your spam folder just in case. So then we're gonna go down to guidelines. And again, I just recommend checking out this information each time because sometimes it does change. So 
it just reminds you that oral testimony will be limited to three minutes. I've seen that change sometimes to less, sometimes to more. Three minutes is pretty uh, common. And then uh, if you are submitting a written testimony along with your oral testimony, you can submit that in advance to this email address. Or if you look down here, you can also mail it to the state house. So it gives you some good advice on what your written testimony should include. Should include the name of the person speaking or persons speaking, your organization name if you have one, address, phone and fax number, and an email address. Written testimony submitted to the committee will be made public on the internet and become part of the permanent record. So just keep that in mind. And then your personal contact information will not be made public, so you don't have to worry about that. And then lastly, a guideline down here says you will be allowed to testify at one assembly public hearing. So you can do one Senate and one assembly, but you cannot do more than one. Those participants from statewide or national organizations with multiple chapters, offices, locations, etc., should consolidate their efforts and select one person to represent the organization. And then important to note here for hearing loss assistance is you need to submit your request in advance if you do need assistance. So I'll show you, it says click on the drop down menu and we'll look at that down below. Um, if you do not make a selection, your response will be recorded as none. Uh, CART or sign language interpreter requires five days notice um, and an assistive listening device requires only 24 hours notice. So if you do need car, if you do need an interpreter, you need to give them ample notice. So you want to make sure you're signing up in time to receive that. And we just scroll down and here's the actual registration. So again, you have three choices morning, which is 930 early afternoon, which is 12.30, late afternoon is 2.30. So just for fun, you can pick morning, whatever you're interested in. Then you're gonna need your first name, last name, email address. Very, very important, you triple check your email address because that is how they send you the link to access the hearing. If your email address is spelled wrong, if it's not the correct one, if it doesn't work anymore, you're not gonna get that information and you're not gonna be able to testify. A title, Mr., Miss, Mrs., whatever you're comfortable with, if you want one, it is not mandatory. An organization, if you are representing an organization, you can put that here. If you're just testifying on behalf of yourself, you don't have to fill that out. They want your mailing address your city, and your zip code. New Jersey is already set for your state. Your phone number, and then if you have an alternative day phone number, and a fax number, if you have that, you can put that in here as well. And then right here is where you will put in if you need any assistance, uh, hearing loss assistance. So CART, assistive listening device, or sign language interpreter. It is automatically set on none. If you don't need anything, you can just leave that right alone. And then you hit submit, and then it'll tell you if there's any issues like um, you didn't enter in your name or you didn't enter in your email, it'll, it'll tell you. Otherwise, it'll go through and it'll say um, received. You should get an email that says that they received your registration. Again, that does not mean you have reserved a spot in the hearing. It just means that they received your registration. The email with the link and any other instructions will come later. So that is how you can register for a budget hearing. Again, we see that there's a lot of things going on. So the budget hearings are marked in blue and the legislative activity is marked in that tan gold brown color. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.